if you could download a car, just zip instantly a fully functional car. And no one would lose their car in the process. Just poof, you have a car. And that car could help you get to work, to school, to see the world, to live a better life. Why would that be illegal? Now, speaking of which... Zeus, the king of the gods, is a bit of a douchebag. So when the titan Prometheus tricks the god to accept inferior sacrifice, while man gets the good meat, Zeus responds by punishing mankind, taking away our fire and launching an age of darkness upon the face of the earth. According to the story, it was Prometheus that created mankind, so wanting to help us, he steals back the fire from Mount Olympus. Hidden in a fennel stalk, he gives it to the race of men, and the spark sets off human ingenuity, pottery, ironworking, and even music, as the burnt holes in the stalk creates the first flute. Zeus then punishes mankind by creating woman, as ancient incels despair. Then he ties Prometheus to a rock. Remember kids, stealing fire is a crime. <laughs> now, um, I, <laughs> now, I don't know what it says about our modern Western civilization, so-called, that we proudly draw our heritage back to this uh, culture of slave-owning men who thought, yeah, women must have been created as a punishment from the gods. That's only natural. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. The metaphor of fire and sparks as uh, creativity is ancient and suits our purposes today. If someone held the exclusive rights to fire, to cook, to heath, to make iron and pottery, they'd be kind of a dick, wouldn't they? Of course, copyright and the divine rights of gods isn't exactly the same thing. But, but it is kind of similar. A handful of corporations dominate intellectual property, stifling creativity and expanding their monopolies. Knowledge and the ability to control that knowledge is power. As an artist, I'm like an ant pissing on the leg of a god. But thanks to the legal framework of things like Creative Commons, I can release my art for free use, advocating against the harm that copyright causes to artists, to society, to education, to, 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 to humanity, while striving for better and freer laws. So today, while I'm going through my archive and tagging and releasing a bunch of new art, I thought it'd be a good idea to show a little bit of how you can use my art. The short story is that you can use it however you want, personally or commercially, as long as you credit me. The longer story is that each artwork is like a spark. Now, you can use that spark to warm yourself for a little while, or you can use it to make your own flame. Now, let's see how this works in what I call the stupid and cumbersome part of the video. Today I'm going to release over 100 new pieces for free use, and that's a lot of work! Not just creating the art, which I love, but also scanning, editing, uploading, tagging, and covering the hosting costs. After dedicating 20 years of my life to making free art, it's finally paying off. We sustain it by selling originals and prints on denungeherrn.com, and also by your memberships on Patreon, YouTube, and Facebook. However, I'm no archivist, and the current current download site is a nightmare to navigate because I created it. So we have to expand our team to be more efficient and reach more people and educate them on how to use my free art. So even if you can't support financially, you can support by financially
finding the new pieces, downloading them, printing them, changing them, and even selling them. And perhaps you spreading my art can spark the flame in someone else's imagination. Meanwhile, in the garden. After tagging and writing captions and putting these hundred new pieces in the Ink Monster Gallery, they're released, right? They're published, they're free. But my shop and my download sites aren't integrated yet because linking over 4,000 pieces, uh, poorly catalogued pieces, is a huge job. When you go to denungeherholm.com, you can't just click on the new arrivals. And now to access the free art, you have to go to more and then free art on Smugmug. But with this many galleries and my poor tagging, finding what you're after is a challenge. And when you find the piece you're after, then find the tiny download button in the corner. So me and my team have a huge job of making my free art easier to use. But if you're looking for something specific, you can just contact us for help. And while you're waiting, just go download a car or something. Yeah, okay. Anyhow, free art is more than just free art. At its burning heart, everything that can be copyrighted is speech, and copyright is an anti-freedom of speech law. It impacts art and culture and education and science and progress. It suffocates them on the behalf of corporations. Imagining alternatives to copyright is difficult with a system built around the ownership of things that can't be owned. So most people don't even notice it. Most people don't notice the flame is dying. So if you manage to take my art and earn a profit on it, you don't owe me anything. I owe you a huge heartfelt thank you. And now a word from our sponsor, me. You may have noticed these birds edited into this video seemingly random. And yes, they are kind of random. But for the first time in my life, I'm going all in on being a creator of videos, primarily on YouTube. And that involves planning a theme for my videos over the next year. That theme will somehow end up with birds. Now, like all my art, it is all based on some sort of magical thinking and a path will reveal itself in the process. This video is the first step on that path. It is my attempt at taking a boring topic, basically, that I've uh, uploaded 100 new pieces for free use, and see how I can use editing and storytelling to make it exciting. It's the first video I haven't edited on my phone and it's a place where I can both learn editing on the computer and try out different ideas that I will return to in later videos. Hope you find it fun. Not all my videos will be as wild and eclectic as this one, but in order to be as free as possible I want to shun advertisers like the plague. Now that's where you come in. I'm going to continue hiding sneak advertisements for ways to support into the videos, because that's how you have to do it in order to get past the algorithms. But just know that every time I casually mention my shop or memberships, that's me advertising. But for this ad break, I will just say, if you'd like to see more birds, please subscribe. Now back to the video. Okay, so what I thought we'd do now is uh, simply to look at some of the new ink monsters and see if we get some ideas of what they could be used for. Click more, 
Free art on Smug Mug, not the catchiest title. Daily Ink Monster Gallery, there are a couple of ones missing that I will be uploading later. For instance, the two made for this video. Those will be out for free use when the video is released. This is clearly a Christmas card. This is definitely t-shirt material. This would be so simple to make into a t-shirt that I might do it myself and put it on my store. And if not, then you can make a t-shirt yourself. Gay or die, I like it. <laughs> this one is, if you just uh, took a little snapshot of it, then that could be a pretty awesome CD cover or something. CD cover. No one does CDs anymore. LPs. That's where it's at. This is just a great little mascot. Mob. No, not Mob Boss, but Bob Moss, of course. Oh, I love this one. Also called Bob, strangely. This one is definitely a D&D monster or something. This one has potential to be twisted into something really even more grotesque. This is also cover material, I think. And it could also be manipulated way beyond what I would do with my own stuff. And that's uh, the fun part, is that other creative minds can come and interact with the art. And especially if you're planning on selling my art on your store, then you actually need to do enough with it, with the design, with the colors, with the letters so that it has a personality of its own. Yeah, I want a game set in the world on top of that fella's little back. Someone do an epic RPG with Jax the World Buffalo. You can change his name unless your hero is called Daxter. Black metal cover art material? Ooh, now we're into older ones that were uploaded a while ago. We have a print of this one on the website, but this one is gruesome in all the right ways. This is the stuff I like. This is the stuff that makes me happy. The tribute to Technoblade, because he was a hero of uh, one of my sons. He seemed like a good guy. I want someone to make a platformer brawler, kind of Streets of Rage or Double Dragon with this Branana. That would be perfect. But you know, one of the problems of me looking through the art like this is that I'm not the best one to imagine what these can be used for. I've had requests from people who want to do short stories about them, and that, that is magnificent. Someone contacted me about training an AI on my art, and I would definitely want to be a part of that, but, but, but I managed to lose the email. This one... T-shirt? I don't know. This one is material for something. It's so weird to look back. I don't really like looking at my art. But when it's this many images, then it sort of becomes okay in a weird way. Yeah, this one is disturbing. And generally people are too scared of messing with my art. But that's the point. The point is to collaborate and for you to do your stuff, for this to be a tool so that you can make it more awesome. Now we're almost at the beginning. This is the first ink monster I did. Now this wasn't the point of this session at all, but we've gone all the way back to the beginning. So that's uh, 1,400 plus monsters ago. Hugh the Hangry Minotaur. Someone should make something with him. I should make something with him. Now, we're a tiny team and we're working our asses off to make ends meet, but we're getting there. We're getting there. And we also have to deal with 20 years of baggage of my bipolar ass messing up anything I come in touch with. Come in touch with? Come into touch with? Touch nose? Touch... I... Anyhow, that's why I so deeply appreciate 
every single person who chooses to find my art and to download it and to even if you just print it and hang it on your wall or if you do something with your local RPG group or if you use it in your indie game or write a short story or send it to your to your godmother and it's so fantastic when people send me examples of their work and you know or when i've met people with my work tattooed on them it, it is mind blowing and it i'm so grateful for it no matter how small or huge the project is if you ever do anything with my work and you want to show it to me then then, then send an email to freeart at denungeherholm.com or tattoo at denungeherholm.com if you want to show off your tattoo with my art. Nothing makes me happier. Now if it sounds interesting maybe I can do some videos where I actually go in and manipulate the art and make it into different designs and to show a few examples of how you can actually use my work and do my take on it so you can do yours. But Lastly, in this video, I, I, I just want to say something to those of you who have already sent me your works with my art. And then uh, I'll give you one final new drawing time lapse at the very end. So stay tuned. My wife claims that I'm the messiest person ever, but she doesn't know the truth. If you have sent me your work, then I'm sorry. I was gonna post about it, but poof, it vanished. Sometimes they reappear in the strangest of places. I found these great looking RPG books by Odin's beard in a pile of bills. After a year, this LP using my live art of Sinistro's concert at Roadburn came back, box still unopened. And this t-shirt by Lola Valkyrie is great, but it comes and goes as it pleases. So to all of you who have used my work, lost or not. I, I swear it wasn't me. I didn't lose it. It was Vanessa. That's the end of this video, but if you want to know more about copyright, my social media journey, and even how to save us all from techno-feudalism, at least in part, then there's an old video up here with the birds somewhere. It's a very simple video, unlike this, just talking and drawing, but it's interesting. Now I have to go make my next video. Make free art or die.